Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Martina and I thought we could start this week with a very relaxing video, something calming, a, just a chill uh, journal with me session in my new junk journal that I have recently shared a flip through of uh, here on my channel. So if, if you would like to see how it looks uh, without any spreads filled, just blank pages, then uh, do check it out. I have it linked in the description box of my video. But yeah, so I just wanted, I have some random bits and pieces, I will show them to you in a moment, and I just thought let's just do some journaling. Just I don't have a plan for this, I don't have anything specific in mind, I just want to spend some time with you guys, hang hang out with you and just just journal, just do what I think most of us here uh, in our community loves doing, which is uh, journaling, playing with our journals, memory keeping and such. So I thought to make this uh, a bit more relaxing for myself, I'm actually going to light a couple of candles and put them um, next to me. This one is like a pom pomegranate. Oh, I don't know what, what you call this fruit, but it's like a smell, really nice smell. And this one, this one smells like, I think it's lavender and I don't know, I just, I have been uh, lighting both of them while I've been journaling and they smell so good together and they just really put me in a mood for journaling and I have it in this like uh, soft pink, really nice thing. <laughs> so with that, let's open up the journal. Oh, and before that, I will just show you a few things that I have here <laughs> and it's like a hodgepodge of things. So I just have a couple of random photos. This is me and my boyfriend on one of our walks, still in masks of course, and this is like the first snow of the year, a view from my room, which is not very attractive, but I just thought with the snow and everything just covered with white, it looked uh, really nice, much better. Then I have this. This is a piece of a packaging that one of my I don't rem I don't know if you guys remember when I had. Um, a restock of uh, ephemera holders in my Etsy shop and one of the packages that I shipped to France recently came back and I uh, shipped it again. I like repacked it and shipped it again and so I just kept this uh, from the original package because I like the stamps and I also like kind of want to keep this memory I guess because uh, this never happened to me before but but I suppose if you have a business, you know, when you ship things, especially internationally, things like that are going to happen. This was stressful, but my customer, she's such a lovely person um, and she was very like um, understanding. And um, so yeah, so the package is back on uh, its way to her. And then I have this, which is, I made a purchase from Galen Leather, uh, which is a Turkish shop. Um, and I bought a beautiful journal from them. I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but I do like daily journaling, like writing pages and pages of writing. And I bought a Tomoe River paper journal from them. And they sent me like this, let me show you. I really liked it. They sent this like little card with their story. And then this little charm, which is the evil eye. And there is some, kind of like a kind of like um uh kind of like um like its story or the explanation and then there is this card and um there's some quote on the back so i like how vintagey it looks like a vintage uh, advertisement and they also sent me turkish coffee which i just wanted to share with you but i'm definitely going to uh, try with my boyfriend and this beautiful japanese cherry blossom refreshing towel i mean it's gorgeous. I don't want to open it, but on the other hand, I do. <laughs> so I'm probably going to do it, but I thought I would love to have this. Oh, there's something more here. Oh, and there is the 
uh, a packet of tea which I'm also going to have later but I just thought I would like this little pouch in my journal and this card with the charm and this one then um, this is from another shop and I just really like the postcard and it says dziękujemy za zamówienie which is in Polish thank you for your order which is very nice and I like again how vintage it looks and just you know some other bits and pieces book pages ephemera some bags this is uh from a magazine and uh, this is basically how i spent my weekend with candles and um and a book and a coffee and let's just pretend this is my white chihuahua puppy <laughs> and here as well so I, I don't have a cat but just the color matches so you know and everything else matches so i just thought it was nice and yeah so I hope you guys will enjoy it and I hope maybe uh, you will join me and maybe we'll journal together. So um, I already filled a few pages here. This one I showed you in my previous video. This is some of the very first paintings that my boyfriend did in Procreate on, on an iPad. So I, I'm just stunned with them still. So I thought I would put them here. Oh, I also have this little wintry spread with some tippins. Uh, so fun. And okay, so let me let me just find a page. Maybe I would like to like glue glue this book page somewhere here, maybe like this. And then yeah, I think so. I think so. So let me <coughs> Let me measure it, sort of. Uh, I'm just going to mark it like that. So, guys, do tell me how are you? Are you okay? Uh, how are you doing? I know, I know. I um, kind of promise you guys, or maybe I don't promise, but I just said I wanted to make those daily videos, and I still do. It's just. A little bit hard sometimes because well I still am working uh, in my corporate job and I've noticed it's so visible in my planner this past week that you know I had my corporate job on um, on Wednesday Thursday and Friday and so it's just so visible that when I have those corporate days and I I plan, I, I do make plans, you know, that I want to make a video, I want to do this, do that with my creative business in mind and then I, I either do those things and end up exhausting myself which is not good or I don't do them and I feel bad and that's like a vicious circle but I don't absolutely want to make this video a depressing one because I actually have some really really exciting news so um, I've been thinking about it so much and about the future of my creative business, the future of Teal and Tattered and I I decided recently and I was talking it over with my boyfriend a lot because he's of course you know decisions about my my future career they are not just mine to make we I want us to make them together and he's extremely supportive uh, and he's been like this from basically the moment we met which is um, which which is amazing <laughs> so i decided i want to give my creative business a real shot so i decided to resign from my corporate job and this was such a hard decision this was such a hard decision you guys because even though it exhausted me, even though for the longest time I knew it was not a good fit for me, it was not the job that made me feel fulfilled, that made me happy to wake up in the morning, uh, it still gave me a sense of safety and financial stability. 
but I've talked it over with my boyfriend and he's so ready to support me in the especially you know in the beginning and he's so so just so amazing he um yeah anyway uh so yeah so I decided to to resign from my um from my corporate job and with my notice period I will be working there till the end of sorry I'm just going to flip my my journal here to cut off this bit uh, till the end of February so I have this uh, month uh, still working there and then starting from March my Teal and Tattered is going to be my full-time career and I am over the moon. I'm scared, but most of all, I am over the moon excited and happy. And guys, I, I wanted to say like the biggest, biggest thank you because um, you guys are kind of the fact the factor I'm sorry to call you this way uh, absolutely don't want to like objectify you but you are what made this uh, possible for me I like your support your your amazing support just leaves me speechless so many times and if it weren't for you guys I wouldn't be able to to do this huge step and um, I have a lot of like ideas for my business, a lot of projects that I want to share with all of you. There is just so so much going on in my in my mind, in in my head. I just I can't wait for it, you know. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Uh, and you know, you may not realize it, but even things like watching my videos and liking and commenting they support me so much because I also get uh, a little bit of money from YouTube so in the future you know when I quit my corporate job well I did quit I mean I did resign uh, but I um I I did resign already but I'm still going to to sort of uh, be there for the next uh, for the next month so oh I like how this looks actually maybe like this um, so the um, I'm going to have to have like a few sources of income and YouTube is one of them so the fact that you guys watch and like my videos and comment and come back it's just it's oh, I like this too it's just absolutely amazing and I am grateful and I am absolutely humbled and very very lucky to have you so so that's my big news <laughs> and um, another sort of part of this is that I am and have been thinking um for a while about starting my patreon page and even some of you guys uh, suggested it to me so if you don't know patreon is this um, website where you can support the creators of your choice or artists of your choice with a um, small monthly donation um, you, and there are usually a few tiers, so a few amounts, and you pick one uh, that you know fits best um, your situation. And so you pick how much you will uh, you will pay monthly, and um, each each sort of uh, tier comes with some benefits, some additional perks. So uh, in my case, there are definitely going to be some giveaways, exclusive projects just for Patreons. Uh, I'm thinking of having a like a Facebook group with you guys too. So we can, you know, maybe know each other better. I'm, I'm thinking 
I would love to create this safe space for us to to talk uh, about our passions, to maybe get to know each other better if we want to, of course, to share our creativity and our creative journey in a very safe and secure space. So, um, yeah, and I'm planning a, uh, fun giveaways and also... Uh, and also... Um, excuse me, I'm just focusing on kind of being, kind of gluing this uh, even here. So, um, what I was talking about, uh, maybe some live videos, I would love to learn how to make those. Um, so, uh, yeah, and oh, uh, some definitely some pr printables, like available only for, for Patreons, or maybe some digital kits that will go to my shop, but the patrons will get them um, sort of, you know, uh, for free or for um, at, at some of those tears so it's just been a work in progress i've been thinking about it for for a long time really for a long time right now and i would i would love to do it i would love to i, I feel that it's not only going to be like a way for me to make this this creative business really real <laughs> It's also it's also going to be a way to how do I put it to maybe um, to keep building this community to get to know you guys better because well we can chat in the comments of course but it's not very um, it's not a very efficient way of getting to know each other you know so um, yeah I'm, I'm very excited about and I didn't have like a specific date in mind yet it's just something that's definitely in the works something I've been uh, working on for some time now something I've been planning and dreaming of <laughs> and um, I have such a fun project, like the first video project for Patreon is going to be so much fun, guys. I think you are going to love it. There will be videos there, of course, and yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, hmm, I don't know, I just, I want to do it so much. It's going to be so much fun. And by no means, please don't think that I am going to go to Patreon and disappear from YouTube altogether. Not at all, nothing like this is going to happen. On the contrary, really, I have so much plans for my YouTube channel. <laughs> Guys, you wouldn't believe me how many projects I have, like lists and lists in my planners, in my journals, lists of projects that I want to share with you here on YouTube, lists of a uh, series of videos that I want to make. So by no means I'm going to disappear. I'm still going to m make content, like free content here. I have, I would love to, oops, I would love to make some live classes uh, in, um, on YouTube. So like live junk journal classes. I have so many ideas and so many plans and so many things I want to share with you. And Patreon, is one of the ways that this will be possible for me because if I will be able to provide for myself doing creative things then I will be able to make more videos to make um, to yeah to, to just to make it you know to share more free content with everyone here and I I, I want to you know I strong I love this saying that you guys have in English, that sharing is caring. I don't think we have anything that, anything similar in, in Polish, or maybe we do, I just can't think of anything. But yeah, I strongly, strongly believe it. Sharing is definitely caring and I want to share with you because I learned how to make my first uh, junk journal from YouTube and I'm just thinking what else I would like to add here. Uh, do I want to add some stamps? Maybe some stamps. Mm. Excuse 
confusing guys let me just take a look here maybe i just want to add this script stamp that i have to match the script on the washi tape here so and i lost my thought again yeah okay so i learned how to make my first ever junk journal from youtube from those amazing souls those amazing creators that share their work for free and that's just you know that's so big that's now i'm going to make it my my life my business and it all started with some free tutorials on youtube so i want to do this for other people as well i want to i want to be able to do more for you guys to share more with you but for that i need to be able to provide for myself so patreon is just a way for those of you who feel like um want and can of course can afford to support me uh, financially with a little uh, donation every month uh, to do it and and then of course you will receive some some fun and exciting things in return so <laughs> yeah i I'm very excited about this guys, I'm very very excited and I truly hope you uh, you will enjoy it and, and definitely please do not uh, think that I am going to do uh, going to do this paid content only from now on, uh, it's absolutely not not like that <laughs> but yeah I'm just I kind of can't, can't believe it, you know, I've worked uh, in a corporate job for for how long now? For uh, a little over five years, ever since I finished my first master's degree. I've worked in a corporate job in the same company almost, you know, all the time with the same people. So uh, it's just, it, it was a hard decision. Like I had no doubt in my heart that this was the right decision but it was also hard because it was a really big part of of my life and yeah just but i'm like i'm 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 trembling even you know talking about this because i'm just so excited it's buzzing all those emotions are buzzing in me and i i don't know i'm just <sighs> yeah <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm, I'm, I hope you uh, you are fine with a chatty video like this and with me just playing here in my journal. Um, but I really wanted to share this with you and uh, yeah, I just really wanted to share this with you. I wanted you to know what's what's going to you know become of um, of this channel of this little business that I've been building. I have <clears throat> I have so many plans. There is a lot uh, going to happen if I can help it. <laughs> I, yeah. So okay, maybe let's go back to journaling for a moment so here i'm just as you can see just sticking uh, the magazine page some stickers uh, some washi tape this little label uh, where i will put probably my date and i just want to do a little bit of journaling about uh, about this day about this um, relaxing weekend in which you know I was like I want to work but on the other hand I'm so tired after uh, after work after uh, working uh, hard you know last week <coughs> excuse me uh, that um, I just I just decided to rest and yeah, it was really, it was, I think, really what I needed. Okay, so these are Tim Holtz clippings or snippets, something like that, uh, tiny word stickers or tiny phrase stickers. 
I love them so much and ooh, enjoy your special day definitely definitely was a special day for me because I don't do resting I don't do days off <laughs> and um, but this time I was really happy I did so what let me check the date it was um, it was oh, I don't know uh, 30th 30th of January okay so we have uh, January 30th January <laughs> it's it's uh, kind of the opposite way so I'm just making sure it does say 30th of January now let me take my archival ink I'm going to stamp it here oops and I did slide it but that's okay I don't mind it and I just I like a ghost stamping which is like cleaning your stamp on the page <laughs> okay I think this spread is done I will come back and uh, and fill it with uh, journaling and I will show you at the end of this video how it turned out but I think we can move on to another spread and I would love to add, where are those ephemera pieces that I just showed you? Yeah, I would love to add these. Oh, maybe this one too. And where is my, my card that I got from Galen Leather? Yeah, it's here. So can I do it here? I could have it I know it's going to add bulk to my journal obviously <laughs> but hmm, I, d I don't know if I am worried about it at all I'm like I'm not at this point yet you know usually when I go when I'm like nearing the end of uh, of a journal then I get increasingly worried about how bulky my journal is getting but I'm not there yet, so <laughs> mm, yeah, I think I maybe I will just put those three items on one spread. I'm just wondering, do I want this spread or I could maybe use this? So the pouch would go here and then because I have some idea for how I could use watercolors and this paper is really holds watercolors nice. Although, then I wouldn't be able to use this. And do I mind? Do I mind, guys? Or maybe I want to make it like a tip in here. Maybe. Okay, so let, let's start with gluing this. And I'm like honestly not sure what to glue it with. So I think I'm just going to go with my wet glue because it works well with fabric it worked well with fabric usually <laughs> so let's see how it is i guess i could staple it as well or of course stitch it but then stitching i'm not a stitching master <laughs> or of any kind so um stitching in a journal that's already already bound is very difficult for me so i'm not going to do it but i think this glue could uh, should hold and maybe i will just add a couple of staples sort of inside holding it in place and let me put it maybe here so that it sticks out a little bit and those elements that are really bulky are going to stick out from my pages oh by the way guys i don't know if i mentioned it but if you are not aware this journal is made with my digital kit blissful bird so there are a lot of pages from this kit in my journal and if you would like to check it out it's on sale right now uh, all of my kits are on sale for the whole week monday through sunday and do check them out if you are interested I'm going to take a stapler and I'm going to put a couple of staples inside 
just to make sure this bag is not going to go anywhere. Okay, and then I will probably cover them with something on the back here. <clears throat> so yeah, all of my kids are on sale and uh, they were on sale last week, Monday through Wednesday, but then it turned out it's like the end of my Wednesday. So you guys in the United States, um, for you it ended earlier. So it ended at midnight on Wednesday for me, but, uh, but it ended for you guys earlier so this time I wanted to make sure everyone who wants to use this discount to purchase some digitals from my shop will be able to so the sale is going the whole day <laughs> the, the whole day the whole week of course the whole week Monday through um, through Sunday okay so now I want to use some Arteza watercolors and I've shared these with you before and I am loving them. I am using them so much. Like, I love them so much. And uh, if you guys would like to uh, check them out in the Arteza shop, either the watercolors, so I have the 60 set. Uh, these are 48, but I have the 60 set. And also maybe this tin, I will have links for you uh, below. And just a disclaimer, uh, these are affiliate links. So if you... Uh, purchase using my links then you um, share a little bit of commission with me at no extra cost for you whatsoever and I did receive a small amount of money from Arteza uh, some time ago and it, this means that you guys were actually purchasing using my links which I am so grateful for thank you thank you this is another way to uh, to support me and my creativity my creative business my um yeah just thank you so much okay so this is an arteza uh, water brush and i got it with my real brush pens that i also shared with you guys so i'm going to use it i'll just take a paper towel what i want to do is because this looks so vintage and the card as well i just want to add some vintage color to the page so some brown I'm just going to see which brown I like. I think I think this one is actually nice and maybe I mix it. I hope you can see what I'm doing and just I have a wet brush and I'm just going to to go like this. I think I may want maybe a little bit of this color. <clears throat> and then I'm going with my paper towel to take extra color from it because I don't want it to be like too much. I just want a really like delicate brown effect on my page to just break the whiteness and I don't even, I'm not even sure what will be visible from the ephemera that I will glue not glue, I will stick, yeah, glue, stick, whatever, <laughs> um, but we will see. So you see these irregular marks, they just look so nice. Yeah, and I love these watercolors because they come with so many colors that if you're a beginner, I mean, if you're a pro, then of course, I'm sure you can enjoy them very much as well but if you are a beginner at watercolors like me then they are so wonderful because you don't have to know how to mix the colors you get all the colors you may want and um yeah you, you just get them with the set and you can just enjoy them and it's been, it's been a lifesaver because i can't tell you guys how many times i've been trying to mix like a nice purple and I've ended up with a very much not nice muddy color uh, so now I just have all the purples and pinks and blues and browns that I can dream of <laughs> at my uh, disposal so that's a, that's really wonderful so definitely uh, a nice way to add 
um, the watercolor effect to your journal. Okay, I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to clip this page here. And also maybe on the other side as well, just to keep them sort of open. Now while this is drying, I think I want to maybe do something here. <clears throat> Sorry guys. So let's see, I could maybe use, this is a bit too big. I do have <clears throat> ephemera from Amity Bloom here. And she has some really nice vintage looking, I just want a little journaling spot. That's all, but also something that would match the colors. This is pretty flowers on my mind. I will cut it out and I will just check if this is not too big. If it is, I will maybe try to trim it down with my... Um, uh, I mean, I will cut uh, the, the frame off. So let's see. And I did some splatters here, uh, just using you know the same, the same brush and dipping it in paint and just patting it, <laughs> or I'm not sure you know how to describe it. But I, hopefully you could see what I was doing. Okay, yeah, that's really nice. And then I still see a little bit of this pretty pretty plant here. So that's perfect. I could even, oh, I could even <clears throat> maybe cut off the frame and just ink it with my vintage photo. And this would probably give it even a more vintage look. Okay. And then like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and my vintage photo is here. <clears throat> so I decided to go with this chill journaling session for my sort of first um, video this week because after not filming for a few days, like I had a at least a five day days break i feel so rusty and so I, I feel a little bit like anxious uh so i just wanted to start with a simple project with something i feel comfortable with and i would also like to share more of my journaling process with you guys because i don't know about you and do tell me in the comments how it is with you but i love watching other people actually use their journals and whether they are using junk journals or just you know notebooks i love all types of journals guys and i love watching people how people use their journals so any type of creative journaling junk journaling any sort of thing like that i love watching those videos and so i was thinking maybe i would share a little bit more of that uh here on my channel because journaling is and has always been a huge 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 part of my life it's one of the most important things for me one of the most important habits uh, something i treasure something i've been doing forever so it's just such a big part of me that oh and i smudged my uh, my splashes here but that's fine it's a junk journal after all. <laughs> uh, where's my ephemera piece with the stamps now? Let me maybe put this aside first <clears throat> so I can make a little bit more space for myself than these. I'll just... So do tell me if you would like to see uh, maybe more 
like journaling uh, videos on my channel. Okay, guys, are you screaming right now that you see the the postage stamp? Oh, it's here. Uh, I know in the previous video I was looking frantically for my double-sided tape and it was just like here and you guys, so many of you commented that you were screaming at me, it's here, it's here. And I, of course, I saw it the moment I stopped filming. So <laughs> that was hilarious. I was just like, Obviously th this happened on camera, you know, that's that's just the thing that happens when you're filming. You can't seem to find something that's just just there. Yeah, but I was saying, please let me know if you'd like to see more uh, journaling videos. I do a lot of types of journals. Maybe I could share my, uh, like, what kind of journaling I make um, and, uh, yeah, just journaling processes. Maybe we could make it like a weekly thing that we would sit down with our journals and document our life because, guys, I strongly, strongly believe that despite how mundane and boring sometimes we feel our life is it's it's really not it's our story and our story matters even if on a given day we didn't do anything else than watch netflix you know it's still our story and i still believe strongly believe that it's worth oops i have some tape here i'll try to cover it um, I still believe it's worth documenting so maybe we could yeah maybe we could do like a weekly thing where we would uh, all just sit you know with our journals or with any other creative project that you guys are doing at the moment and we would just do some some journaling maybe on Fridays Fridays are for me those days where I like I want something relaxing so that would be a good idea for maybe a friday video although i'm not i i, I won't be promising and a lot on uh, like in february because being my my last month of uh, of my corporate job it's going to be hectic it's going to be very difficult i have a lot of things and projects that i need to finish so um i can't promise like daily videos um unfortunately but uh, i know you all of you will understand and i will do as much as i can <laughs> so yeah I would definitely do, uh, I would definitely would love to uh, make more videos about, uh, about, oh, I will add true friend because I'm loving this journal that I got from Galen Leathers. I've been using it every day and like I can't wait to come back to it every day. Um, Yes, I would like to do uh, a bit more maybe journaling content just because it's so important to me and it's such a big part of my life, really. Such a big part of my life. Okay, now I think this begs to be decorated a little bit. So let me see what I have here. And sorry I'm not taking my stickers kind of uh, in, ca in the camera but I can't like fit my my box of stickers here so I think I'm just going to go with some uh, postage stamps because they match what we have going on here with the postage stamps of course what else could I use what else do I have here that that I could use <clears throat> Maybe this clip, it looks vintage and nice, okay. And uh, you have this little label. Hmm. Maybe this one. It's really cute. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm just pulling things out of my box here so we can decide. 
um, what looks nice here I have this nice washi tape so this page is kind of more uh, vintagey definitely more like a vintage vibe than my usual colorful style but as I said on numerous occasions I love both styles so much I love colors and I also love vintage and yes in my creativity you know I'm more drawn to colors more often drawn to colors but I enjoy the vintage style so much and and I like to have it in my journal <laughs> Especially when I have an occasion, like a chance to do it, because I have some vintage looking ephemera. <clears throat> and there is this quote here, I think it's actually handwritten with a fountain pen. And it says, you have to keep breaking your heart until it open, opens, I suppose it was supposed to be. But <clears throat> this quote is a bit... Mm, it's a bit morbid I, I would say I mean I'm not sure I agree with this I, I've studied psychology so I'm of course looking at this from a psychology perspective um, but you know how, how people sometimes say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and psychologically speaking this is not not really true because sometimes when when we are like when we face something that's so hard that you know it almost breaks us it almost kills us and then it doesn't kill us but does it really make make us stronger or does it make us more vulnerable to you know to the same thing in the future so so i'm not sure i agree with this quote but it's a nice piece of ephemera to have in my journal because it was handwritten. I suppose it was. It really looks like it was handwritten with uh, with a fountain pen. So I do want to keep it. <laughs> okay. And maybe this one. I would have a date here. And then this this little label <clears throat> how about I put it yeah maybe here oh, can I actually still unstick this this one and then put this label first and then this here yeah I like it okay all right guys so I think I'm going to pause the video now and add my journaling oh I could also add maybe a little bit of this washi tape but yeah in a moment I will pause the video I will add a bit of journaling a bit of writing and then at the end I will show you guys what it looks like you know what those four pages that we did those two spreads um, what they look like when they are all filled I really like it like the overall scrubky feel of this oh and maybe I will stamp um, but I don't want a like a specific date I just want to the the date to be January 2021 so I'm going to take a piece of washi tape and cover the numbers here and I will just leave the January 2021 and then I'm going to ink it take the washi tape off and stamp it here perfect yeah I love it and here's the ghost thumping as well or a lazy person's way to clean her stamp <laughs> Uh, but I really like the look of it, the messy look of it as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, guys, uh, do I want to add some more flowers? I had a little flower sticker here somewhere, uh, one I, I didn't use in the previous spread. Now I am probably going to find it just when I stop filming, obviously. <laughs> But that's okay. I think uh, let's check it. Let's check my box. So I have this like a chocolate box from Ferrero Rocher. Uh, 
and I just recycled it and I'm using it to keep my flower stickers in it. Oh, there is a rose and the rose is always like a very classy and vintage looking flowers, flower, especially that this one seems to be a dried, uh, dried rose, which I don't know, it, it, it looks vintage to me. <laughs> dried roses look vintage. Okay, anything else? <clears throat> oh, this is, I think, like baby's breath or something like that. So maybe I, I would put it here. I really like my spreads. Kind of busy. <laughs> I, I like when things are going on because I flip through my journal, not just for the memories. Of course, this is like the main part. But not just for the memories, but also for inspiration, for um, yeah, for inspiration. So I love to have things when I'm flipping that I can look and that make me smile, that make me happy. Just things I enjoy. And oh, how about I put maybe this flower up here or down here? I think I prefer having it up there and semi-transparent so it's not going to cover the the writing mm -hmm. how do i want it so i don't want it to stick out from the page yes you still can see the letters maybe a little small one like this one it would pick uh, the blue in this uh, in this element. <laughs> yeah, I think I like it. And then <clears throat> here in the bottom, let's just put some washi tape. love how it looks uh, so yeah let me pause the video for a second I will add my journaling and I will be back with you okay uh, guys thank you so much for spending your time with me today it really means a lot to me so here is the finished spread and this is what they look like with the journaling I really love the cozy vibe of this one and oh I'm going to add one more thing here and I'll say let's just pretend it's Zuzia. <laughs> Suja is my dog and like I said in the beginning I don't have a cat but my dog is like the same color kind of white cream so uh, it just fits perfectly so yeah this is the first page and here I documented my relaxing cozy weekend and then uh, I just want it to be dry so let me take a piece maybe a little piece of a napkin and make sure this is dry so it doesn't uh, yeah see I didn't want it on this side <laughs> this is kind of a, like a semi-glossy paper so should be fine now okay and the second page we did is this one and I love how this one looks as well so uh, when we open it, I added some journaling here and here, here about the journal, here about this package, here I wrote on its way back to France. Um, yeah, and I just, I don't know, I really enjoyed this journaling session. I hope you, uh, you did too. And yeah, like I said, thank you so much for spending your time with me, uh, journaling, crafting, chatting, and um, 
I will see you very very soon in my next video. Bye!